guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I have to be a little quiet, guys, because it's about uh, 2 a.m. in the morning and everybody's asleep. So I, I, I just, I totally saw this on usedatoyota.com, and I was like, God, I gotta, I gotta talk about this because while the his tank was being, um, you know, uh, on its on its historic run, um, some other news, some other twin news uh, had come out, and yeah, I gotta tell you. It's for me anyway. It's super, super exciting, and I hope it's going to be exciting for you guys too. Of course, I'm talking about the new Avatar figures that have been announced by McFarlane Toys. So, guys, let's take a deep dive into this and take a look at what McFarlane is going to be offering us in terms of Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yes, um, yeah. So, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys will enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Guys, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this and uh, and see exactly what Mar what what McFarlane is going to be offering us. This is going to be great. Uh, this news comes to us from news.toyark.com. They're a great resource for twin news all year round. Definitely head over there, give them a like and follow, and tell them that Jay sent you. Guys, if we scroll down a little bit from the top page, we can see that, <laughs> yes, indeed, there is some McFarlane news about the new Avatar The Last Airbender action figures. Oh my god, guys, this is super exciting for me, and I can't wait to take a look at these guys. So yeah, if we go to this article right here, it was posted on June 30th. Oh my gosh totally missed out on this it was hosted it was posted by uh, tony bakla under anime toy news um guys i don't know about you but i'm a huge huge fan of avatar the last airbender and i have to take a look at these guys they look so great now most of these are their actual um new uh from what i understand um seven inch figures we can see that right here on the seven inch front they have soka which is brand new uh sorry soka's brand new ang is new um he looks amazing momo and zuko are inbound and then they start talking about um some of their smaller figures uh the five inch scale ones and those are actually really really interesting as well these are all due in august of 2022 seven inch retail is 1995 for the larger figures the five inch two pack is 14.99 so that's with the blue spirit and the five inch komodo, komodo rhino is 24.99 now those are all uh, U.S. prices, so Canadian prices will be slightly different. Let's take a look at the first ones, and then we'll talk about the second ones as well. So, the f if so, right here they have a whole host of different photos which we can take a look at. Let's have a look, guys. Oh my God, <laughs> there he is. There's Soka. Now, um, Soka is one of my my, my all time favorite characters because he's just such a funny guy. Loved what he did in the series. Loved the fact that he protected Ang and Katara the best that he could. And as a strategist, he became instrumental in this whole series and here this as you can see is very very early on this is probably season one maybe the beginning of season two and we can see that you know he still has his um his short sword he's got his boomerang his weapon of choice of course and if we come around he's got a whole host of different um you know uh accessories here i love the little smirk it's just enough of soka in there uh to really warrant the fact that you know he's a little bit confident a little bit cocky but you can definitely tell this was part of season one and i'm really loving it he's got those two little uh, weapons here one is kind of like a, a, a it's like a um a mace kind of idea it's got this little ball at, at, at the end and the other one's more of a short sword pretty much almost the exact same thing one's just more curved and the other one just has a little bit more of an edge <clears throat> it's kind of it's kind of cool to look at he also has the uh, sling backpack for his um sorry his sling case for his actual boomerang awesome stuff uh, unfortunately he does lose his boomerang later in the series oh gosh spoilers but yeah it was it was still an, an amazing thing to have uh and i love the fact that he's coming with all of these wonderful accessories that is so great i love it um yeah he's looking so he's looking well put together i love the articulation um you know mcfarland's articulation is hit and miss but you know what you can do what you can with it honestly he's looking so great i do love as i said i love that smirk i love the little um uh, ponytail at the back. Uh, it's more, uh, not really a rat's tail, but it is a ponytail. Yeah, I love the colors. Yeah, and they, they're adding this new texture to it, uh, which is a little bit is a, a bit of a departure from the um, from the animated style they had earlier in the in the um, in the sculpts. But you know what? I kind of like it. Yep, he's looking so well put together. I can't wait until we get this guy into our hands. Uh, no word on pricing just yet, but I imagine they're still in the same price range as the original uh, seven-inch figures. So that should be that should be pretty easy to to pick up for anybody who's looking to collect this figure. Sweet. The next one we see is my absolute favorite. This is the one that I've been waiting for. Honestly, the last couple sculpts for Ang in terms of facial design was not 
uh, you know, the best, I have to say. Here, he really captures that anime look, that real fun look that anime that Aang has uh, throughout the entire series. You know, he, he's in the prime of, you know, he's just woken up from, from being asleep for so many years, for, you know, uh, decades, and he's finally come back, and now he's just looking to have fun. He's just a young kid, and he comes with Momo. Oh my god, guys, Momo? You've got to be kidding me. The fact that he actually comes with Momo this time is... is that 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 just kills it. I love the sculpt. I love the uh, the overlook. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's pretty much the exact same sculpt as the as the previous two versions that were released. But honestly, I don't care. He looks absolutely amazing here. I can't wait to get my hands on this version of Aang. And Momo, come on. Unfortunately, he's more of a statue. He doesn't really looks like he's got almost no articulation whatsoever. So. Yeah, you take it and leave it. I mean, it is it is what it is. But honestly, I do love the way Aang looks. He's just got that expression that everyone's come to know and love of uh, of Aang from the original series. And yeah, this is a wonderful um, set. I am looking very forward to actually grabbing this and adding it to my collection. I honestly wasn't thinking about getting the... Um, the seven inch figures originally when they came out but now i i just have to i have to have them i do have um most of them um from the last line i just don't have too many of the gold editions or silver editions uh platinum editions but you know what now i'm gonna start hunting very very hard for these characters just because this version really really speaks to me this is awesome and finally, we do see Prince Zuko. This is awesome. Uh, Zuko is obviously one of my favorite characters. At first, he wasn't. At first, he was just, you know, an obstacle for Aang to, um, um, you know, to overcome and to learn from. But as the series developed, he really did grow into his own. Um, we can see that there's a lot more design here in his overall armor. As I said, they're going for a more realistic look. Um, you know, they have the, the texture patterns on the clothes and everything. It's really, it's really nice. I do like it. It doesn't detract too much, um, but the faces are very anime, and you know what? It re it works. There's just something about this particular version, the way they did it, which actually works. He comes with a bunch of, he comes with one huge blast effect, um, swappable hands, um, a fist, you know, a splayed hand and two grip hands, and it comes with two uh, small. Uh, flames, which is very similar to the original version that was released, um, you know, in, in, in the first uh, first wave. So yes, very very cool that we're getting Zuko. We can see how he can actually use those um, uh, blast effects here. Awesome stuff. Really excited about this. Wasn't really planning on getting the seven inch figures, but unfortunately, they're looking better and better. So now. Yeah, I, I've just got to start collecting them. So, <laughs> McFarlane, man, you guys know exactly what you're doing. I really, really appreciate that. Oh, my God. So, the article did mention that there were six-inch figures. Unfortunately, with this particular article, there actually were no images of the six-inch figures. So, I figured, you know, let's do a search and find out if there are any photos. And, of course, on McFarlane.com, uh, yeah, that's where I found all these, all these amazing photos. Let's take a deep dive, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe it. They're actually going to be releasing War Rhinos. Oh, what the heck is going on, guys? These, if you guys remember, um, were written by the um, the Rough Rhinos in the actual series. But later on, the, um, Zuko and his and his uncle actually did ride them into, into, uh, into, uh, into I believe it was Kyoshi Island, to try and get them, um, you know, the, the Avatar in, in that episode. So this is a wonderful uh, mount, which is going to be great. It doesn't look like there's too much articulation on these but uh, overall it's just a wonderful gigantic skull pretty much in the same vein as um, Appa when he was first released but honestly these guys look mean and in charge look at the size of that front horn oh my god it's kind of like a cross of, with, between a triceratops and a rhino it's freaking crazy these guys are gigantic um, yeah so these are obviously scaled to the uh, five inch figures which uh, yeah I gotta say uh, I can't I can't wait until I see Zuko riding one of these and does this possibly mean we might actually see the rough rhinos that would be cool I think that would be an excellent addition to the uh, to the overall mythos I wonder how deep they're gonna go into this line because honestly so what they what McFarlane has delivered so far is yeah, I, w I was really getting worried around the time where um, you know I was hoping that Toph would be released um, you know early in the line but it was very 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 late in the line I think it was like wave three and then you know when they released Iroh oh, I, I, I was like yes finally we have the entire team this is so great and later on uh, we're actually going to 
see one more uh, release which really excited me and that's the one that I'm really really uh, looking forward to showing you guys looks like the tail might be a bendy tail that's pretty cool man I really appreciate that um, Appa didn't really have any articulation at all but these guys are pretty much mm, very much battle cat and um, uh, panthor type of, type of creatures but it does look like they do have bendy tails so that's actually kind of cool but I can imagine they're probably going to be the exact same price as uh, Appa maybe a little bit more now that uh, you know inflation has really kicked in hard so Fire Nation Komodo Rhino this looks absolutely cool can't wait until we get these guys in our collections holy crap guys wonderful this next figure is kind of a hit and miss for me um I mean, I don't mind having another Aang, but for the most part, he's the exact same figure as what we've received before. So the only difference, of course, is that he's in the Avatar state and he's, eh. you know, uh, again, original release of Aang is kind of weird. Uh, he's got this kind of goofy expression, which I'm not really 100% uh, you know, in on. I, I have to I have to be perfectly honest with you. The the first uh, iterations of the of the figures from McFarland for the for the 5 inch, they were fine. They were absolutely fine. But um, the the head sculpt on Aang I have to say, it's it's a bit um, much to be desired, and the biggest problem with me for um, for the second version of this, if you will, is that the special edition that they include with the with the glider, which was supposed to be a you know a, an exclusive, uh, it's the exact same figure, like literally the exact same figure. You get exactly this plus the glider, so that was kind of disingenuous to me. But I wanted the glider, so yeah, it is what it is, and I'm super happy that things are changing up. But at the same time. With the Avatar State version, it's kind of more the same. So I hope that um, I hope that something else will change. McFarlane, if you're listening, I mean it is what he does in the series. But you know, I was hoping for a little bit, tiny bit more stoic in terms of uh, his overall demeanor. This takes that to the opposite spectrum. I mean, it is the Avatar State, and when he's in the Avatar State, he looks really, really pissed off. But uh, you know, in terms of like the offering. It's the exact same Ang figure, with the exact same staff, with the exact same sculpt. The only difference, as far as I can tell, is the staff. Um, yeah, that, that might not be enough for me. I'm sorry to say, it just might not be enough for me. Don't get me wrong, he looks great. Obviously, he's the Avatar. He's in the Avatar state, and his, his arrows are glowing. You know what I mean? It It is Ang, and I, I do appreciate that, but... In terms of like value for money, I'm not really sure, especially in this particular climate, if I'm ready to pick up this figure for the exact same price at, you know, just to get an avatar in the avatar state. Um, he matches well with the box. I mean, that 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 in and of itself is a big thing, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, who am I kidding? I'm probably gonna end up picking this up, but I'll probably end up waiting for a sale. We'll have to see. Anyways, McFarlane, good job, but you know what? I'm going to wait for the next release, and you guys will see why. Check it out. Yeah, guys, this, this is a two-pack, which I can get on. Oh, my God. And you know what? Honestly, this, the marketing here makes no sense to me, and we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. But, guys, it is the Blue Spirit and Avatar Ang. Check this out, guys. For the first time ever, we're going to get the Blue Spirit. Oh, my gosh. He was one of my favorite characters in the show. Obviously, you know, spoilers ahead. We do know that it's gonna, it is Prince Zuko under the mask. But come on, this is crazy. I've always wanted, uh, you know, a silent stalker type of uh, character who goes around and pretty much is an assassin. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, the way he acts and the way what he does. But his actions speak louder than words. And that is exactly why I love this character. He's so well put together here. We see the blue mask here, the actual, you know, very, very simple stealth camouflage, um, you know, overalls. Such a wonderful design. Loved him. When I first saw this character, I was like, who the heck is that? And now that we're seeing him in real life, you know, in, in action figure form, just great. And then we got to come to Avatar Aang. Let's be honest, this is the Aang I want. Seriously, he is in the Avatar state, but it's the enlightened version, the one where he's getting, you know, the guru is giving him a secondary um, form, and it's he's not blue, obviously, but his arrow is slightly different um, color than the, the one that's being released now. You can see the other one has a, a slight blue outline, but his, his facial sculpt is also different, and that... That is actually what's important. This is what I, I and the fact that it comes in two pack 
I'm sorry, that's the reason really why I'm picking this up, because it's actually value added for money. So definitely I'm going to be picking up these two. God, I love the way they designed this blue spirit. He looks so awesome. The fact that you can sheath, eh, you can sheath one of his swords. I think you can probably do two, the way they've actually designed them, because they split in half. They don't show it here, uh, probably because it's just very difficult to do. Honestly, this, this is the Ang that I want. And I have to say it, McFarlane, I, I know that there are completionists out there. I know that it's important for a lot of people to do that. But for me, I am perfectly happy with picking up this, this two-pack uh, with this particular Ang. I know it doesn't have the blue outline, and I know that there are certain differences, like the facial sculpt for sure. But I think that's really what it will be the, de the determining factor for me in terms of like picking up this set. And the Blue Spirit must have, an absolute must have. If you're a fan of the series, you must have this figure, bar none. There is no question. Seriously, so happy with this. McFarlane, bravo, bravo. You've done, you've done it again, I have to say. Honestly, the, when McFarlane was first doing anime characters, they didn't really hit the mark for me. Now, as they continue to make these wonderful products, I have to say, especially something so close and dear to my heart, like Avatar The Last Airbender, this is this is really doing it for me. And honestly, I, I have to say, this this hit it out of the park. You can see that the, the actual... Um, a scabbard can hold both swords if you want them to actually be in the back. I love that. I love that. That's actually so amazing. Probably going to find out a little bit more as things develop. I can't wait to get them into, into our collection. <laughs> so great. <laughs> oh, Guys, this was an amazing look at the new announcements from McFarland Toys in terms of their um, updating, uh, their upcoming releases for Avatar The Last Airbender. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe what's been going on. Uh, you know, while the Histank has been funding, you know, other other toy news has been announced, and it never, ever stops, which is amazing. I'm super excited and super, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just on bated breath to find out what these rhinos are going to look like, how big they are, and, you know, um, the, the newer sculpts for uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, it's going to be freaking awesome. Guys, let me, let me tell me in the comment section below, are you guys interested in picking up these, uh, you know, amazing new figures that have just been announced by uh, McFarlane Toys? Is this still in your wheelhouse? Are you a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender? And are you excited about the 7-inch and the 5-inch versions? Or has McFarlane basically, you know, one, done one too many uh, figures on the repaints? And, you know, uh, are you kind of past, you know, the Avatar stage? And, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of like ready to go back and, and pick up some other action figures along the way? Guys, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Geek proud, everybody. Geek proud. Oh, sorry. Take care. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. RyRatCan33, Old IT Guy, Princess Kagali, John Joker, Michael Traverso, Christopher Herndon, Snell World, Thomas Meyer, Budrick Porter, and Joseph Michaels. Thank you for all your support, everybody. It really means a lot to me and really does help the channel to keep going.